This is one of a series of videos from People's Trust for Endangered Species on how to undertake a box check for the National Dormouse Monitoring Program, and it deals with health and safety for dormouse box checking. Health and safety may not be high on your list when undertaking a dormouse box check, but it should be something you consider. In this video we'll be looking at insurance, risk assessments and first aid. There are two types of insurance you should consider for dormouse monitoring, public liability and personal liability. Public liability should cover you if someone or something is damaged by your activities, whereas personal liability should cover you if you or one of your volunteers have an accident. It may be that you're already insured on the site you're monitoring, like our volunteers at the PTES site of Brittlesford. Unfortunately, PTES is unable to offer either type of insurance but it is offered by the conservation volunteers. To access their insurance cover, you need to set up a formalised group with a chairman, a secretary and a treasurer and have a constitution and a bank account. It may be that you already have a local group established, but if not, there is advice on the PTES and TCV website of how to set one up. Risk assessments are generally thought of as a nuisance, but if you suffered a heart attack in the middle of the wood, how easy would it be for someone else to direct the emergency services to you? Or if one of your volunteers thought the woods have well-constructed paths through them and broke their leg because they were wearing sandals, what might the consequences be? A risk assessment is simply something that shows possible risks that might be encountered and how these could be reduced or minimised. It should also help to make sure that the emergency services can get to you if needed or you to them. There is another video in this series on how to complete a risk assessment. If you are undertaking any field work, you should have a first aid kit available and know how to use it. This one is for 10 people, but different sizes are available depending on the number of people in the group. Consider whether you need public or personal liability insurance. Make sure you complete a risk assessment form and ensure that a first aid kit is available.